All right, so let's run through a couple of examples of calculating the fit between parts. Uh, I'm going to use as a basis for the, um, for the work here the problems in the book. Um, they look at a clearance uh, calculation, an interference calculation, and a uh, transition fit calculation. Okay, so in the first example here for clearance fits, um, we can see that we have two parts. We have a positive feature, the pin, or in this case a bushing, is going to go into a bushing liner here. Okay, and we can see from the limits of size for the for the bushing, um, we have a maximum size of 0.75 and a minimum size of 0.7498. Okay, this is in inches. Um, and for the bushing liner, we have a maximum diameter of 0.7506 and a minimum diameter of 0.7503. So you can see right away that this is going to be a clearance condition because at no point would the bushing be larger than the bushing liner or the hole that it's going to go into, right? The maximum diameter of the bushing is 0.75 the minimum hole size of the bushing liner is 0.7503, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and write this out a little bit. Rather than just do it verbally, um, let's, let's write some things down. So let's first talk about the, I'm going to call this the shaft, right? And the shaft, the minimum uh, diameter or the minimum shaft is 0.7498, whoops, excuse me, and the maximum diameter on the shaft equals 0 0.7500, okay? Now we can do the same thing for the hole. So we have the minimum hole equals 0.7503 and the maximum hole equals 0.7506. Okay. So uh, a couple things to note here. We talked about the concept um, or the term maximum material condition. The maximum material condition for a positive feature is the size that results in the most volume or the uh, the maximum. Uh, material. Um, and in this case, the 75 is the MMC of the shaft, right? It's the largest diameter. Um, the maximum material condition for a hole is always the minimum diameter. Um, and why? Well, because that results in the most material surrounding the hole, right? So in this case, this is the MMC size, right? So now let's get on to the calculations for um, uh, for allowance. Now, in this case, we can. I'll I'll do uh, the allowance calculation. Um, for the other ones, we'll look at uh, maximum clearance or maximum interference. But remember that it's all basically the same. So, the allowance is equal to the um, the minimum hole, right? Minus the maximum shaft. Okay. Another way to write this is the MMC size of the hole minus the MMC size of the shaft. They're the same things. So in this case, the MMC size of the hole is 0 0.7503, and the MMC size of the shaft is 0.75. This gives us an allowance of 0 0.0003, okay? Now, the fact that this is a positive number, positive, tells us that we have, in fact, a clearance condition, okay? If this was a negative number, that would mean that the hole was smaller than the shaft, right? Because you get a negative number uh, if, if this number is smaller than this number, so the hole would be smaller than the shaft. And so that is an interference condition, okay? All right, so that's the first one. Uh, we'll look at the next 
example, then let's move on to a second example here. Um, and uh, this is a situation uh, where we have the, again, we have a, a, a bushing here going into a plate. And we can see the size of the bushing. Maximum diameter is 1.0018. The minimum diameter is 1.0015. All right. And for the plate, the hole, that is to say in the plate, the maximum diameter of the hole is 1.0009. And the minimum diameter is 0.9999. So what kind of condition is just, just looking at this? we can see that the hole, the maximum diameter of the hole is 1.0009. The bushing liner, the shaft in this case, is never below that diameter. So at no time in none of these ranges of sizes will the bushing liner ever fit nice and neatly with clearance into the hole in the plate. These, these diameters are always going to result in what's called interference because the, the shaft diameter is never less than the hole diameter. All right. So let's kind of run through the same calculation again. Okay. Um, so the shaft The maximum shaft that, that is allowable is 1.0018. The minimum shaft that's allowable is 1.0015. Remember, the maximum shaft is also known as the MMC size of the shaft. The hole, the maximum hole diameter, 1.0009 and the minimum hole diameter 0.9999 minimum hole is the MMC size of the shaft so in this case let's do since we know that this is interference let's do the maximum interference equation maximum oops let me Sorry. The maximum interference equation is the maximum shaft minus the minimum hole. Another way to write this, the maximum shaft is the MMC size, MMC size of the shaft, and the minimum hole is the MMC size of the hole. So substituting these numbers in, MMC size of the shaft is 1.0018 minus uh, 0 0.9999 is going to give us a size of 0 0.0019 for our for our maximum interference okay our maximum interference um, we could maybe figure out what our minimum interference is all right so minimum interference is going to be well we're just going to substitute take the opposite numbers here so instead of maximum shaft we're going to take the minimum shaft and instead of minimum hole we're going to take the maximum hole. There we go. 1.0015. Notice that there's no MMC consideration here, right? There's no MMC consideration. And the maximum hole is 1.0009. So this is 0 0.0006. So the minimum interference is 0 0.0006. Maximum interference is 0 0.0019. In fact, and this is a term that we'll see later on in the class, in fact, we can call this number 
the minimum shaft, the minimum shaft, this would be known as the LMC condition, the lease material condition. And the maximum hole would also be the LMC condition. All right. Now we'll talk about that later. Right now it's not terribly critical that you know that. Just how we can find the maximum interference and the minimum interference from this situation. Now what if we do the allowance? How does that change? So the allowance Remember, the allowance is equal to the, and, and this calculation doesn't change, the allowance is always the minimum hole minus the maximum shaft. You'll notice that we're basically exchanging, we're taking the minimum interference and we're, swipping, uh, we're switching these two terms. So the allowance is just the these two terms switched, um, and that's going to be, 0.999 minus 1.0018, whoops, I get, forgot a 9 there, which equals minus 0.0019. So remember, when we have a negative, then that means we have interference. So the allowance equation is, is really just the maximum interfer interference equation, but just with those terms reversed, okay? And a negative number indicates interference, which is, in fact, what we have. All right. We'll move on to the last example here. And this is going to be a transition fit. Okay. So in this transition fit, we have a shaft and a hole. And the shaft has a range of size, an acceptable range of sizes, between a quarter inch, 0.25, and 0.2495. Right. Plus zero minus five tenths of a thou. And the hole, 0.25 plus 0 0.0010 and minus zero. So let's go ahead and write this down. The maximum shaft equals 0 0.25, zero, zero. The minimum shaft equals point. 2495. The maximum hole equals 0 0.2510 and the minimum hole is 0 0.2500. All right. So in this in this example what we can see is that when the shaft is, let's, let's look at the extreme. So when the shaft is at its maximum size, 25, and the hole is at its minimum size, 25, well, that's what's called a line fit, right? They're equal, 20, 0.25 and 0.25. So they have an allowance, they're going to have a, uh, an allowance of zero. If we look at the minimum shaft, which would be 24.95, and the maximum hole, which is 2510, we in fact have clearance, right? The shaft is smaller than the hole. So this is an example of a transition fit where we have um, a interference with some, with some range of sizes and a, and a clearance with other ranges of size. We'll write the allowance equation. Remember the allowance equation is equal to the Minimum hole, the, these equations don't change, minus the maximum shaft. They do not change based on what you're trying to find, uh, you know, clearance, interference, or transition. The minimum hole, which is the MMC size, is equal to 0 0.2500. The maximum shaft, which is the MMC size of the shaft, is 2500. This equals an allowance of zero. This is what's called a line fit. Now, technically, a line fit is considered to be interference, right? But for the purposes of the calculation, our line, our, our allowance is zero. Um, we could look at uh, the maximum clearance. Also, the maximum clearance is going to be the equation of the the maximum hole, right? Think about it. When do we get the maximum clearance? We get the maximum clearance, whoops, 
when we have the maximum hole minus the minimum shaft. This is equal to the maximum hole is 0.2510 minus the minimum shaft is 0.2495. This gives us a 0 0.0015 uh, maximum clearance. Okay, that's it. I hope that helped. If not, please send me an email and I'll help you figure out what, uh, what is uh, the problem.